Joining me on News Central now is the Managing Director, Century Power Generation Limited, Dr. Chukwe Luka Ume. Thank you very much for joining us, Dr. Ume. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. All right, Dr. Ume, now we, we understand that within 24 hours, Nigeria's national electricity grid collapsed twice, a third time this year. Would it be wrong to declare a state of emergency in the sector at this point? Um, I think we should have declared a state of emergency in the electric um, sector in Nigeria many years ago. I mean, it, it's unthinkable to keep saying the same thing year in, year out. We have over 200 million people now, and we're still generating and distributing less than 10,000 megawatts. We are in a very bad state. And, you know, like I, I, I said this on Monday when I was on your show, um, that we're going to keep seeing this thing happen. And less than 24 hours after I said it, it's happened again. And it's going to continue. I think it's going to get worse. Hmm. Right. Now, let, let, let's, let's talk about funding the infrastructure. We understand that the Nigerian government claimed to have removed subsidy from that sector. So would this bring in the much-needed investment to fund this infrastructure? Um, the, removing the subsidy on the, on the sector is a step in the right direction, but that's not the silver bullet that will solve this problem. There are many things that need to happen in this sector to start to solve the problem. Um, removing the subsidy simply meant that people will pay the charge for electricity that is closer to what um, the, uh, the electricity should actually cost. That is an incentive to investors that if they put in their money, they will actually make their money back with some profit. But that's not all. There are many other things that need to happen. We need to um, have stability in the sector. You know, people need to, to, uh, to have the, the confidence that if they put the money in, the money will be secure, that they can actually invest in bankable projects. Now, bankability is quite another conversation altogether in, in, in this sector. But this is one of the things that people start, need to see for them to have confidence to start putting money in. Right. Now, let's still talk about funding. And this is a question on many minds. Why exactly are Nigerian banks not lending to this sector? Um, the Nigerian banks have all been burned in the sector. You know, they, they, they rushed during the privatization to put money in. But unfortunately, some of the people that they lent money to in the sector had no idea about um, the electricity sector. Um, they, they, they shouldn't have been in the sector in the first place. So a lot of banks have lost money. Um, some of those monies that they lent, they probably will never get back. Um, so what we need to see in the sector to drive confidence for not just Nigerian banks, but also investors from other countries to come into the sector and put in money is they need to know that um, the projects are bankable. Bankable meaning that the projects can actually run according to the financial models that have been created. If it's supposed to give a certain return in a certain period of time, those returns will be seen. They also need to understand or be sure that the contracts that they enter into, be with the government, be with the optical, whoever it is in the sector, those contracts will be respected. And the, the instability of the dollar gives zero confidence to people that are trying to put money in this sector. So, so imagine that you borrowed, um, I don't know, $100 million five years ago but your income arrives in Naira. You can't, you can't pay it back. You know, dollar used to be um, about 200 Naira before, but now with what it, it is, way above 500 Naira, how do you pay the money back? So these are some of the things that scare investors away. And you, you can't really blame them for not wanting to put money in here. All right. Uh, now, uh, Dr. Ome, let's, before we let you go, uh, I would ask you this question. Now, putting into consideration the collaborative basis of the Africa Continental Free Trade agreement can other african nations invest in nigeria's power sector anybody can invest in nigeria's power sector be them african countries european countries american wherever they come from they can invest in our sector and we welcome it but again they need to make sure that the investment um, platform the investment environment is right for them to put money into and they will actually get their monies back we have things to do to create this kind of environment, but we need to stop playing politics with this sector. This is not a place where you have folks that don't understand the sector coming and, and, and run the sector. And also the government needs to stop running the sector, allow private sector to drive it so that we can actually start um, seeing a turnaround. Again, I said it before, we've done it in the telecoms industry. 
And we should do exactly the same thing in, in, in the electricity industry. And it can work. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Omer, for giving us an insight into what's going on in the power sector. We really appreciate your time. My pleasure. Thank you.